Hello everybody, Jamie Young here. Um, just want to talk about um, this whole thing about flag burning. Um, but first I want to just go back to the past two weeks um, with the Democratic Convention and the Republican Convention. Um, Definitely a contrast in realities. Um, Democrat, their convention was interesting in respect that it was done virtually. Never been done. Cool. Um, but last week's Republican convention, which technically started and ended last Monday when they voted to renominate Trump and Pence. So their convention was extremely short when you come right down to it. The rest of the time was basically the Trump family hour. But um, throughout their convention, it was the theme of chaos, anarchy, death, and destruction if the Democrats win. And aren't we seeing that already? Go figure. But um, one thing that kept on popping out was mentioned by numerous people, um, Donald Trump Jr. and even Donald Trump himself, and that's they'll burn the American flag. Okay, let's think about this for a minute. There are regulations written into law governing how the flag should be treated and respected. Those of us who grew up in the military, along with those that have been in scouts or are currently in scouts, along with the Civil Air Patrol, um, the military and so on and so forth they know this regulation and cornell law school has a has that online and i will pull that up here for everybody Okay, now this is Title IV of the U.S. Code, Section 8, Respect for the Flag. And as you can tell, it's from Cornell Law School. And I am going to read through this starts off, nor is, no disrespect should be shown to the flag in the United States of America. The flag should not be dipped to a person or thing. Regimental colors, state flags, and organizational or institutional flags are to be dipped as a mark of honor, referring to parades and other such events. Part A, the flag should be displayed with the union down, except as signal of dire distress in instances of extreme danger to life or property. I 
we all know that because that's typical protocol within the military when it comes to uh, forts in distress or ships in distress. B, the flag should never touch anything beneath it, such as the ground, the floor, water, or merchandise. C, the flag should never be carried flat or horizontal, but always aloft and free. I mean, these parades that we see where the flag is carried horizontal by a group of people, that's showing a form of disrespect. As we continue on here, D, the flag should never be used as wearing apparel, bedding, or drapery, which means that you cannot have it tied around you as like a cape. It should never be fastened, drawn back, nor up in, full, in folds, but always allowed to fall free. Bunting of blue, bunting of blue, white, red, always arranged with the blue above, the white in the middle, and the red below. Should know should be used for covering a speaker's desk or draped in front of a platform for decoration in general. The bunting they mean is that little like thing. Um, the flag should never be used as a covering for a ceiling. I've seen that before. College students. G, the flag should never have a place, have placed upon it, nor on any part of it, or attached to it any mark, insignia, letter, word, figure, design, picture, or drawing of any nature. Meaning these flags that you see with Trump's face on it, guess what? According to this, that's showing disrespect. The flag should never H. The, the flag should never be used as a receptacle for receiving, holding, carrying, or delivering anything. I've never seen that before. Uh, I. And this is where we all become assholes and hypocrites. Okay, I. The flag should never be used for advertising purposes in any manner whatsoever. It should not be embroidered, embroidered on such articles as cushion, cushions or handkerchiefs and the like, printed or otherwise impressed on paper napkins or boxes or anything that is designed for temporary use and discard. Advertising signs should not be fastened to a staff or a hell yard from which the flag is being flown. Okay, I want to just take a, sh just a tiny, tiny break from, okay. So far, Yes, we are all hypocrites right now, plain and simple. Um, which <laughs> you have to say, when you go into any store, I don't care what it is. It could be a dollar store, it could be Walmart, it could be Target, whatever, around the 4th of July. you see a lot of crap with the American flag on it. Plain and simple. We're hypocrites. 
We're a bunch of effing hypocrites. Plain and simple. Okay. Now let's finish this up. Okay. Now. Oops. Okay, done with the I. Now J. No part of the flag should ever be used as a costume or athletic uniform. However, a flag patch, like what I have right here, may be affixed to the uniform of military personnel, firemen, policemen, and members of a patriotic organization, meaning and referring to the VFW, or Veterans of Foreign Wars, and the American Legion. The flag, representing, the flag represents the living country and itself is itself considered a living thing. Therefore, the lapel pin being a replica should be worn on the left lapel near the heart. Cool. Now K, and this is the end, no, not really the end of the video, but the end of this section. The flag, when it is in such condition that it is no longer a fitable emblem for display, should be destroyed in a dignified way. Preferably, preferably burned. Okay, now that we have gone through that section about respect for the flag. Hmm, it says at the end, preferably burned. Hmm. And you have Republicans and also these conservatives crying that protesters will burn the American flag. The last time that I'm aware of in which protesters in America actually burned the American flag was back during Vietnam. Vietnam was very unpopular. Nobody liked it. Nobody wanted to be there, but guess what? It was the Cold War and we had to stop those commies from invading the world. So it was very unpopular. And yes, at that period of time, Those that protested the Vietnam War did burn the American flag. Since then, whenever we have seen the American flag being burned, it has not been here in this country. It has been overseas, like in Iraq, Iran, Pakistan, Egypt. I can go on and on and on and on with all these countries in which their in which protesters have burned the American flag. Plain and simple. Nobody likes seeing the American flag being burned. That's a fact. But admittedly, there's a lot of flags that we would love that burn. Nazi flags. Confederate flags, uh, the old Soviet flag. You know, those are flags that I would say are worth burning, but um, no. Nobody here in this country likes to see our flag burned. Now, when it comes to the, where the flag 
is no longer, well, where the flag has served its purpose, where it's worn and tattered. You don't just throw it into a bag and then into the trash. What you do, and this is what I learned from being in Scouts and being in Navy Junior ROTC, and that is that you fold it proper where it's the shape of a triangle. You place it into a bag and then you transport that to a place that is that would be able to destroy it. And that would be a VFW or American Legion post. What they do then is that after they have collected all these worn old flags, is that they take them, they place them all into a burn barrel, and then they burn them. That's what we do when it comes to burning the American flag, folks. Plain and simple. Yes, there are images and pictures from the 60s of protesters burning the American flag here in the country, but we have not seen that since then. So this whole idea and notion that protesters right now throughout this country that are pro, you know, that are the Black Lives protesters and they aren't burning flags, plain and simple. I have not seen any photographic or video evidence to prove myself, you know, to prove me otherwise. So that's a fact, okay? And be quite honest, who in their right mind would take a perfectly good flag and burn it anyways? But that's something that has always, you can say, annoyed me. But eh, until next time, have a fun-filled evening.